Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Hey. Guess who's on his way in? What, Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Eh, I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. <laughs> Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice. That was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy.
Okay, off we go, back into the race. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. overtake and burn off some of this energy. Two seconds. Gap to the car behind, 2.0 seconds. Great work, that's a new fastest lap of the race. Just outside the points.
chicane, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. to the car behind by a few seconds per lap. Keep it up. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So Mayer managed to pull it back in the end. The drivers... Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. <laughs> no, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? Devon always means well. Um, he just doesn't always have a, a, let's call it a net positive influence on those around him, but he's here because he cares about the sport and he cares about the team. Now, in the past, you've refused to acknowledge the role of your father in getting your current seat at... Co OK, I'm not taking any more questions about my father. Ask him about his involvement. That's great. Thank you. Go on, then. Let's have it. That's no way to answer the phone. Media training rule number one. Say your piece, Mother Dearest. Um, fine if you want to be like that. You have a problem confronting issues, you'd be better off dealing with them and moving on. There I said it. Have you been talking to my therapist? <laughs> no, but I'm serious, darling. The more you ignore these questions from the media, the more they'll haunt you. Oh, it's none of their business. But that's where you're wrong, darling. It's quite literally their business. It's how they make their living. Whose side are you on here? Look, I'm trying to help you manage the situation. I know it's not easy. 
Yeah, you're certainly right about that. Anyway, forgive me for sticking my nose in again. I'll let you go, Cal. Ciao. Casper. Callie, debrief in ten minutes, okay? I'll be there. And uh, I just wanted to say, you know, our problem with the sponsor shouldn't be your problem. I'm sorry if I'm putting too much pressure on you. Oh, there's always pressure, Cass. Yeah, and you, you don't need any more from me. You know, maybe I just need to let you do your thing. <laughs> no, I'm not out there mid-race worrying about the politics of Connorsport. <laughs> Even so, I just wanted to mention it. Oh, no need. See you in ten. Yeah. <laughs>